here are three things that you can do to stop watching porn. I got asked this question a lot over the last few days, figured I'd make a video, okay? The first thing, uh, and read that book that I shared, Your Brain on Porn, so you can actually understand the damages on your mind and on your performance. Once you've done that, the first thing is to get really, really honest with yourself on the consequences of you continuing to have this bad habit in your life. You can, yes, you can apply the, what I'm saying to any bad habit you want to curb, right? Like, if you don't stop watching porn and it continues to affect your ability to perform sexually, what will that continue to do to your self-esteem, to your drive to go out and date and meet people and be social? How would that take a toll on your current relationships or future relationships? You get really honest. Like, the answer should terrify you. And if you're not having any physical challenges, think of the time that's going into it. If you're watching porn 30 minutes a day, or an hour a day, that's seven hours a week. That's what, almost 30 hours a month? That's 360 hours a year. How many entire days did you waste? And think about if you spent, what's that? like 14, 16 days, entire days, applying it to learning skills for your business or to improve your career or to go to the gym or to do a new sport, how much farther ahead would you be in that? And so really weighing that, and again, it's supposed to terrify you, will help you bring the awareness so when you are sitting about to actively make a choice to do that habit you want to curb, in this case, watch porn, you can catch yourself. And that brings me to number two, is actively shifting the moment you catch yourself about to do something that doesn't serve you. Like if you lay back, turn your laptop on, go to, you know, we all know which websites, right? Or your, or your phone, your laptop, like you have a split second to catch yourself, you know the spiral because you're, you've are you already brought the awareness to yourself. Get on the floor and do 25 push-ups. Do some sit-ups, do some jumping jacks, throw some cold water on your face, right? Then like get up out of your chair or off your bed or off the couch and walk around and get out of the room and see how that helps you like shift your focus like an immediate, an immediate dopamine hit or immediate like the pleasure uh, hit, okay? And number three is get some freaking accountability. Like reach out to a friend, someone you trust. Chances are they might want to do this with you or reach out to me. There's so many things I can support you in that way because when I was struggling, I was invited to a mentor, and that accountability of checking in every day made it possible to come forth in my first three months. I'll tell you, it was not easy at all, but it is cool. Those three months turned to now like almost four years. So, hope that supports. Leave one if it does.